Hey, what's up guys? This is Foryam again, back with a new Minecraft Dungeons video. On the 26th of May, we got our hands on the Hidden Depths DLC. Probably one of the most ambitious DLCs yet, with some pretty epic new levels to play, and of course where you can find new awesome weapons and armor, which I'm going to showcase in this series. Today, we're gonna check out one of them, the Sponge Striker. So in this short video, I'm going to talk about everything you need to know about this awesome new unique, where you can find it, which enchantments are going to be interesting for it, and of course, if it will be interesting for a future build. So guys, let's get right to it. First, a very quick shout out to everyone who joined the channel yesterday as member during the live stream. You guys are the best. The Sponge Striker. Wow, guys, this one is seriously overpowered. And even without enchantments, guys, this one can be a killer weapon. Anyways, you'll be able to find it on both the Coral Rise as Coral Blade right there and also on the Radiant Ravine. I definitely recommend you guys to go for the Radiant Ravine. If you haven't found it yet, definitely make sure to check out the top right of the screen for my secret level video. Anyways, let's check out this weapon on paper. So the Coral Blade is the common or rare variety of the Sponge Striker. And this one is already pretty cool. I mean, it has the Rapid Slashes built in. If we check this out for a second, guys, you can tell that the attack speed is pretty awesome on this blade and uh, it can deal a lot of damage. But of course, you want to have some enchantments on it to make it more interesting. But let's talk about the unique variant, the Sponge Striker. So this one also has the deals absorb damage during an attack combo enchantment built in. And guys, seriously, this is what makes this weapon so powerful because it's currently extremely broken, especially if you combine it with things like the Pain Cycle. Attacking drains your life to grant one stack of Pain Cycle and at five stacks, your pain is channeled into your next attack, dealing even more damage. You will be able to stack quintuple damage on the maximum tier, guys. And even without that, it will already deal tons and tons of damage. So if we just equip the Sponge Striker for a second and just Hit the target dummy right here. You don't see anything too fancy popping up, right? You just see the 137,000 and then a third attack. You see the 309,000. But actually, if we check it out on the battlefield, you'll be able to see how powerful this is. So we're going to travel to the Creeper Woods for a second. Let's do this on the Apocalypse Level 7 plus 20. And you will see exactly what I'm talking about right here. All right, so here we are, free the villagers. So uh, what we're going to do right here is search for some enchanted mobs or ones with helmets. These are already perfectly fine. So I'm just going to lure this bad boy in. Let's uh, keep the rest at a distance. So um, what we're going to do, guys, is just hit him with our third attack combo. Look at that. It already deals billions and billions of damage. So uh, these guys do pack a punch. So we're going to have to be a little bit careful right here. But uh, the third attack, guys, it's... It's outrageous, but you have to hit all three hits on the same target. Otherwise, this is not going to work. But guys, seriously, you can tell that this is overpowered as hell. Wow, man, <laughs> this corpse, pretty, pretty sad. Anyways, if we add some more enchantments to the mix. Um, so uh, right now we have the power level 249 equipped. That is pretty cool. But uh, let's just check out this one for a second with pain cycle. This also makes this weapon deal so much damage. Look at that, guys. Okay, right now we are draining a lot of our HP away with the um, with pain cycle. But uh, you can tell that we hit like a truck right now. So it's extremely powerful. I think it's even easier to uh, check it out at the target dummy. I mean, if we just hit it with our third attack right there. And right now, this actually pops up. So um, in the past, we were all thinking this was only the pain cycle what was doing uh, the crazy amounts of damage. But even without the pain cycle, guys, you can do this. On the target dummy, it just doesn't show it exactly like that. But uh, you did see it right there on the mobs, right? It's pretty insane, even without the pain cycle. So, of course, because this is a pretty fast weapon, you want to focus on enchantments, which are also going to be interesting to proc quite frequently, let's say. So, um, first off, we have the shockwave right here. The last attack in a combo launches a shockwave, damaging enemies. Really nice. Then, for healing, I would definitely suggest you guys to get your hands on the radiance as a 20% chance to spawn the circular area that heals all allies within the area, including you, of course. Swirling, my favorite. This simply hits all the mobs around you in a circle. So, um, yes, you can definitely tell that it's a very nice AoE. And then, of course, we also have Exploding. I definitely suggest you, though, to only pick this one on very slow weapons, as they have a slow attack animation, and the Exploding will take care of the extra defeats, pretty much, for the mobs. But um, if you have a 
quick attack speed, I think swirling damage is a lot more consistent. Anyways, another cool enchantment, guys. The refreshment. Defeating a mob reduces your health potion's cooldown time, allowing you to heal more quickly again. So this is really cool if you're going to go for a potion build. I already shared this one. Check it out in the top right of the screen. It is insanely strong. Definitely interesting for the highest Apocalypse Plus play. Of course, another cool enchantment for some extra damage could be Thundering. I'm not a huge fan of this one because the Thundering damage is quite random. And then, of course, if you want to go for some very tanky builds, you can go with Stunning because the 50% chance to trigger will happen pretty much 24-7 so you can stun lock your enemy at all times. So I just had to salvage some items to show you guys the full potential of this weapon with uh, some new enchantments. So first off, I'm going to pick Swirling right here. I'm also going to take uh, the Radiance. And then last but not least, I guess uh, we could go with Refreshment, but let's just stick with these two right now. Of course, on the target dummy with the Death Cap Mushroom, it looks exactly like this. So uh, you can tell that the Swirling is very interesting as well as the Radiance. So um, yeah, let's just check it out in battle, guys. For this, we're going to travel to the Creeper Woods on the highest Apocalypse Plus. So this is the attack speed without the um, Death Cap Mushroom. It is already pretty fast, but if we add up the uh, the Death Cap Mushroom, you can tell that it hits so fast and it feels super cool. And guys, definitely be careful with those Torn's enemies because like you can see right here, it literally insta-kills me with that third attack on the animation. Because of course it deals millions and millions of damage, so it will one-shot you every single time. Look at that. <laughs> Once again, insta-kills me. So uh, it's pretty scary. So back at it again. Death Cap Mushroom. Look at this, guys. Oh, man. It just feels so good to play with this weapon. The attack speed will allow you to heal up constantly without a problem. So even though your enemies are dealing tons and tons of damage, it, um, it's no problem at all. Sometimes, I don't know, this insta-kill doesn't pop up. But um, it really has something to do with uh, the swirling, I think. Because right now, every time, it does pop up. Look at that. So yeah, there you have it, guys. The Sponge Striker. This one is so cool to play with. Definitely worth getting your hands on. All right, so there you have it. Pretty much everything you need to know about this awesome new unique. Did you already find it and which enchantments were on it? Well, just leave it in the comments down below. I'd love to hear your thoughts about this new item. And of course, if you're interested in another one of the Hidden Depths DLC, every single one of them will follow in the coming days. Guys, a big thanks for watching. Definitely make sure to hit that like button if this video was useful for you. And of course, if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. A lot more is coming your way. Right now it's 4am out, so time to work on my next project. I'll see you guys very soon. Take care.